This organization finishes craft projects left behind by people who either passed away or weren't able to finish it themselves due to an illness or disability. It's called the Loose Ends Project, and it matches up volunteer finishers with people whose loved ones have left behind handmade fiber arts projects. It was started in August 2022 by longtime friends Macy Kaplan and Jen Simonic. They got the idea after being asked to finish the craft project started by some of their friends' loved ones. Now, the organization has around 17,000 finishers from 60 plus countries. These types of things have been happening for centuries. People have been finishing up people's work for, for centuries. Crafters do this for each other, but we are in a time where not everybody's a crafter. There's a lot of people out there who don't know a crafter or the crafter they know may have passed away. Um, and that's where this idea came from. Last summer, we were meeting together and our friend, Patty, uh, her mother had just passed away from cancer. Patty had a beautiful blanket that her mom made. And one of the things her mom was nervous about at the end of her life was that these would never get done. Macy said, you know, I've been thinking about doing this project where we connect people uh, with, with people who would finish these types of things, that this would be something that um, that we could get people to do and, and be a service for people. People who have submitted projects, when they receive them back, it can be very emotional. And I think that our project owners have been just very appreciative of all of the hard work that the finishers have done and that strangers just kind of showed up and made that happen for them. And the feedback has been on the finishers part, just to be able to be generous to somebody else is a gift. So it's kind of a gift on both sides. When someone submits a project, Simonic and Kaplan will look at pictures of it and ask the owner questions about relevant details, like whether the person was left or right-handed. They'll then match the owner up with a finisher from their database via email. The client and the finisher will communicate throughout the finishing process, and once the project is done, ideally the two people are close enough that they can meet up for the handoff. But if not, the finisher will ship it. We give them some guidelines and we explain that grief is an interesting process to go through and everyone does it in their own way. But because of how we match it, we're matching people nearby. Aside from getting that tangible representation of the love of your loved one, you're also making this connection that you might not have ever made before. And that's a really powerful thing to realize that there's people out there that are willing to help you, even if you're a stranger. I think that the sort of the emotionally charged aspect of finishing something from someone who's died um, just does bring this kind of reverence and this um, importance to the craft versus maybe one's own craft. And Thank I've also you. heard of people who talk to the original crafters while they're working on it. Myself. <laughs> I want to finish this for you. Anyone skilled in fiber arts handwork like knitting, crocheting, or quilting can sign up to be a finisher. The organization runs entirely on volunteers, and the only type of project owner has to pay for the service is if there's a need for shipping or the finisher has to buy materials. You can support the Loose Ends Project by signing up to be a finisher or submitting a project at looseendsproject.org. There, you can also help by donating or downloading the group's flyers, which can be used to help spread the word about Loose Ends around your community.